Hello, it's Karina, and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today, I'm going to be leading you through some relaxing bedtime yoga. These are very beginner-friendly poses, and it's going to help release some of that physical and mental tension that can kind of keep us lying awake at night. So, you don't need any props for this class, but if you have a couple of items that will help you be more comfortable, that's really our goal here, right? So I have a big pillow, you could use a couch cushion, a big folded blanket. I also recommend maybe having a towel handy, but again, not necessary. And for our last pose, I'm going to use a chair, but you could also be next to a wall if you prefer to do legs up the wall as our last pose or if you don't have a chair, anything about this height. So the edge of your couch, an ottoman, the edge of your bed, if your bed is fairly low. And once you gathered up your items, go ahead and join me on your mat. This video is brought to you by Earth Echo Foods Golden Bliss. This is an amazing golden latte beverage that combines turmeric and 12 other superfoods to give you a huge burst of antioxidants and other nutrients that can help to reduce stress, reduce pain, help you get to sleep a little bit more easily, and really give you a big nutrient burst to help your body heal and recover while you sleep. So we're going to begin today with a little bit of neck stretching. You can be seated in your little cross-legged Sukhasana position like this, or if this isn't comfortable, you could just sit in a chair or even on the edge of your bed. So go ahead, take a moment to just find a nice tall spine, noticing that even sitting up a little bit straighter already helps you to maybe feel a little less stressed. From here, go ahead and place your left hand down on the floor next to you, just kind of lightly tenting the fingers. From here, we're going to drop the chin down toward the chest, feel a nice big stretch through the back of the neck, and then gently start to roll your right ear towards your right shoulder. So from here, as you start to kind of stretch through the left-handed fingers, or through the fingers of the left hand, you should start feeling a stretch across the top of the shoulder. If you want a little bit more, place your right hand on the top of your head, not pressing down on it, but just letting the weight of your hand accentuate that stretch a little bit more. Take a nice deep breath. And then a nice slow exhalation. Maybe you take a little bit more weight on the top of the head. Then nice and gently go ahead and place the right hand on the floor next to you. Get your hair wrapped around the microphone. Okay, we're gonna come back from here again. And then nice and gently go ahead and remove the right hand. Gently roll the chin back through center. And then from here, with the right hand fingers outstretched, we'll just start to roll the head now over towards the left. Feeling this nice stretch across the top of the right shoulder and kind of walking the fingers away from you if you'd like a little more. Option to place the left hand on top of your head, not pressing down, but just letting the weight of your hand accentuate that stretch a little more. Nice deep breath in and slow breath out. Remember that those slow exhalations help your nervous system relax. So when you slow down the exhale, it should immediately help you feel more calm. Gently releasing the hand from the head and we'll just lightly roll the chin back through center and just take a few more rolls of the neck here. If you want, you can roll the head all the way around, but I think it's nice to just kind of stay with the head toward the chest, kind of keeping these neck rolls nice and gentle. And as you roll from one side to the other, maybe you feel a little bit of that tension releasing. And then nice and gently, we'll lift the head back up. So from here, come to sit so you're facing the long side of your mat. If you have your pillows, towels, or other props, 
Go ahead and put them nearby. We're gonna start with the feet planted on the floor and the knees bent. Just take a moment here to really feel that spine lifting up nice and tall. And then from here, we're gonna extend the right leg and we're gonna open up the left. So if you have a towel or maybe a small pillow, go ahead and prop it underneath the thigh of the left leg. So now the left foot is kind of coming towards the knee of the right leg. If you want a little bit more hip opening, you can bring the foot closer to the groin, or you can just kind of leave the foot a little bit farther away from your body, makes it a little bit less intense. So from here, we're gonna start to fold toward our foot, but that can be really, really intense. So I encourage you to grab a big pillow or grab a big folded blanket or couch cushion. And we're gonna kind of place that on the right thigh, finding that nice tall spine here. And then we'll start to slowly fold over. So from here, you can place your right hand either down on the shin or on the floor. Think about trying to send your chest towards your toes. And if you have a big proper pillow, that should just kind of help make this a little bit more comfortable. So this is Janyu Sirsasana, and we're getting a little bit of hip opening and stretching through the left leg as we start to stretch through the hamstring on the right leg. If you're feeling really flexible, maybe your nose starts to come toward your right knee. But remember that when we're trying to relax at bedtime, it's not about pushing our body into a difficult or uncomfortable pose. It's about finding a nice, comfortable stretch that allows us to maintain our slow, deep breathing. From here, nice and gently, use your hands on the floor to start pushing your body back up. And then we're just gonna switch legs. So from here, we'll go ahead and plant both feet on the floor once more, finding our nice tall spine. And now this time, the left leg will extend long. And then our little folded towel or pillow will come underneath the right thigh as that right leg opens up and then grab your big pillow or your big prop, placing it over the left leg. Once more, we always find that length in the spine before we start to fold or twist. So finding that tall spine here for a moment. And then as you exhale, start to gently fold over the leg. You should notice that there is a bit of hamstring stretch here. So if that feels uncomfortable, just don't fold over as far. But whatever is kind of that perfect balance between starting to feel a bit of a stretch, but really being able to maintain those nice, slow exhalations. At any point in yoga class, if you start finding that you're holding your breath or clenching your teeth, you're going too far into the pose. Just come back out a little bit so you can find that nice, relaxed breathing. Maybe you fold a little bit more, drop the head toward the knee, and then nice and gently using your hands to push you back up. So from here, we're gonna bring the pillow just right into the center of the mat. And the towel can be kind of farther at the other end. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it folded like this. We're gonna come into a supported child's pose here. So we'll go ahead and move into tabletop position. So knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders, and then go ahead and lay your feet flat on the floor and start to send your hips back towards your heels. So you could also place another pillow or cushion between your seat and your heels if that feels better for you. And from here, I'm just gonna widen my knees out a little bit more and bring this pillow right 
underneath the upper body. So as I fold, the pillow will be supporting me and then the towel is gonna support the forehead. So once again, kind of preparing here, finding that length through the spine. And then think about keeping your bum and your heels connected as you begin to walk the upper body forward over your pillow. So everyone's body is shaped a little bit differently. Sometimes the head may come all the way down to the mat and sometimes the head may not quite reach. So if that's your situation, you could place a block here, you could use a taller pillow. The whole idea is just that we're relaxing the upper body over our legs, really getting a long stretch through the spine. So if you want more spinal stretch, you can kind of tent your fingers ahead of you and sort of stretch your fingers long, kind of pulling and creating this long stretch through the spine. Or if you want it to stay a little bit less intense, you can kind of stay on the forearms or even place the arms behind you. But then when you do that, your head will need to come and rest down on your mat or your prop. So you are more than welcome to pause the video in any of these postures and spend a little bit more time there. But for sake of getting through this video, I'm going to go ahead and walk you out of this pose. So when you're ready to come out of child's pose, start to use your hands to press the upper body back up. We'll come to remove our pillow, placing that to the side. And then if you've got a towel, go ahead and lay it long ways on the mat. We're gonna lay our bellies down on the towel. So we'll take tabletop position to transition onto our bellies and then nice and gently coming down to the forearms and then walking the legs back. We're just gonna lay our belly down on the towel. From here, you can kind of keep your right forearm propped on the mat, start to bend the left leg and reach for the top of the foot. So from here, we're just stretching the quad a little bit. So think about bringing the foot towards your glute. You should feel a stretch on the front of the thigh or the quadriceps muscle. And as much or as little as feels good for you here, remember that maintaining that slow, deep breathing is more important than making the body fit into a shape or a certain uh, pose. So maybe just a little bit, or maybe you can't even reach the foot. That's fine as well. Just find a little bit of stretch that feels nice for you here. And then nice and gently, we'll release the left foot. And then switching. So lifting the right foot now, reaching back for your right foot, and then just pulling the foot toward the glute. You could rest your head down on the mat, lay your head to the side, whatever is comfortable for you here. Breathing into that stretching sensation. And then nice and gently go ahead and release that foot, planting it down on the ground. So from here, go ahead and start to come up onto your forearms. We're just going to turn right over, transitioning onto our backs. But go ahead and grab your pillow or large prop that you might be using. And we're just going to place it basically right here where the towel is. So then go ahead and scoot your bum toward your pillow. Maybe if you're using something larger, you kind of feel it right at the base of your hips. And then nice and gently, we're gonna lay down onto this prop. So you want the prop to be basically underneath the mid and upper back. 
Your head can come to hang off the edge of your prop if that feels okay, or grab another pillow to place under your head. So we're taking supported fish pose. This is a great heart opener, chest opener. And as you start to notice maybe a stretch across the front of the body, maybe you notice that the back being taken into this position feels uncomfortable, then uh, maybe you shouldn't do it then. <laughs> what do you want to say? So we're taking a supported fish pose here. So this is bringing some stretch across the chest. This is called a heart opener when we stretch across the chest this way. In fish pose, the top of the head comes to rest on the floor. But if this is uncomfortable for your neck, you could always grab another pillow here so that you have a little bit more height supporting the neck. So now this time, we'll breathe into the back body. So as you start to take a nice deep breath in, notice the resistance of either the mat or your prop pressing against your back. Letting the belly rise, letting the belly fall. And then nice and gently here to come out of this pose, we're just gonna come to roll onto our side. So placing your right arm next to you, if you're rolling to the right, we'll just come to roll off of the prop. Go ahead and remove your prop here. And we'll just roll right back down. So now we are able to feel the mat beneath us. Just notice what maybe feels a little different now. If there is a little arch underneath your low back here, that's totally okay. So when we're relaxing the spine, we do have a little natural lumbar or low back curve. So that's fine if you're kind of feeling that curvature feeling that little bit of space under the low back. And then make sure that your props are kind of nearby. We're gonna do a little spinal twist. So I've got my pillow here kind of pulled up next to my left hip. Let me press into the feet lifting the hips up just a little bit, move them slightly over to the right side of the mat so that the knees will just naturally want to fall towards the left. Bring that proper pillow underneath that left leg to just help support the twist a little bit more. If you want more, you could bring the right leg kind of to wrap around the left leg, getting even more stretch. So spinal twist is one of the most beneficial poses we can do. Really helps to keep the spine healthy. And it should feel really good for the hips and low back as well. So spinal twist is something I recommend you do every day. Breathe into the sensations. You can place your left hand over the top of this right knee if you want a little bit more. And then just notice your breathing, making sure that you're taking those nice, slow, deep breaths and nice, slow exhalations.
Nice and gently, we'll come out by bringing our gaze back through center. Uncross the legs if they're crossed. And then we'll just bring the feet back up, moving the hips back towards the center of the mat. And then I'll bring my prop over to the other side of my body. Gently pressing through the feet, lifting the hips a little bit to the left so that the knees fall to the right onto my prop. Taking any little adjustments that you need so that both shoulders are coming towards the mat. If you want a little bit more, you could cross that top leg over the bottom leg. And to complete the twist, turning the head towards the left. And just feeling the sensation, kind of a twist through the spine, nice little stretch through the low back here. And even as our body is kind of compressed here, maybe makes it a little more difficult to breathe. Go ahead and focus on those nice, slow, deep breaths. To come out of this pose, we'll begin by lifting the head back through center. Uncross the legs if they're crossed and then bringing the knees back up. And moving your prop if you have one. From here, we'll go ahead once more and start rolling over to the right side of the body and just press into your hand to lift yourself up. So for our last pose today, we're going to do legs up the wall. So if you want to move to a wall, you're welcome to, or you can do this pose with a chair, an ottoman, a couch. When we allow the knees to stay bent in this pose, it's just a little bit more relaxing because a lot of us are tight in the hamstrings. So either move to the wall or move to whatever prop you're going to be using, and we'll go ahead and take waterfall. So once you're next to your wall or whatever prop you're using, we're going to come to bring our bum kind of closer to the wall or the prop. From here, we'll come to lay on our side, similar to we've done coming out of these other poses. And then from here, as we start to roll onto the back, we can just place our legs up on the prop. So I'm using a chair today, taking this position with the knees bent. It's just kind of a little bit more relaxing. But again, you could always do this at the wall if that's more comfortable for you. Totally optional here, but if you have your prop or big folded towel, place it over your belly. So here in this position, we're getting the benefits of this inversion where the feet are over the heart. If you have a prop or pillow or something that you're holding over your belly, I just like the sensation of, I don't know, kind of weight on the body. You could also hug the pillow, that feels nice. And come back to those nice deep breaths, feeling the belly rise on the inhale. And then gently fall on the exhale. Another great technique for helping you fall asleep is what's called four part breathing or box breathing. And that just means that you pause for a second in between the inhales and exhales. So exhale out any air that you have. 
And then we'll take a nice big inhale together. And then hold your breath for just a moment at the top. And nice slow exhale. Hold the breath for just a moment at the bottom. And nice slow inhalation. Holding for a moment at the top. And nice slow controlled exhale. Just a moment holding at the bottom and nice slow inhale. Continue breathing this way. And just remember that that little moment you're holding your breath in between shouldn't make you feel more stressed. So if it feels stressful trying to breathe this way, you can just go back to your regular breathing. But it's just kind of a nice technique to use. A lot of times I'll do this when I'm laying in bed and I can't sleep. It just kind of, at some point when you go back to your relaxed breathing, feels even more relaxing. And over time, as it gets more comfortable, you can elongate those little pauses and work with different breath ratios or how long each part of the breath is held. So as always, you can pause the video here, spending a few more minutes in this position. I'm gonna go ahead and consider this my Shavasana for this class. So we'll just spend one more moment here together, breathing, noticing any sensations you're feeling in the body. And whenever you're ready to come out of this pose, you can go ahead and remove your prop if you have one. And then from here, we'll start to hug the knees in towards the chest. So depending on your body, this may feel like plenty, right? Just kind of placing your feet at the edge of your prop. If you want a little bit more, you can wrap your hands around your knees, hugging the knees toward the chest, really compressing the hip flexor here. And then nice and gently, once more, we'll roll onto our side using our hands to push the body back up. Closing our practice today by bringing the palms together at heart center, Anjali Mudra, placing the palms, and then placing the palms at heart center, dropping chin towards the chest. Being grateful to yourself for making time today for this practice. Being thankful to this practice of yoga. The highest and brightest in me honors and bows to the highest and brightest in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I want to send another big thank you to my sponsor, Earth Echo Foods and the amazing Golden Bliss. I will include a link down in the description for you if you want to try it out. If you'd like to join me for more yoga classes like this, then I invite you to download our app, Yoga Plus. You can start your free two-week trial today and join me for my Beginner's Journey yoga series and a lot more yoga and wellness content. So I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you in the very next video. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. 
Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth, available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts. 